Ending a relationship with a narcissistic person is an extremely difficult and emotionally exhausting experience. When the relationship finally ends, it's normal to hope for closure, a sense of understanding, resolution, and being able to move on. However, closure is something narcissists are fundamentally unable to provide. Their disordered personalities make true accountability and empathy impossible. This leaves their victims feeling frustrated, wanting answers and explanations that never come. In this video, we will deeply explore the narcissist's inability to provide closure, the risks involved in seeking it, and most importantly, how to find empowered closure from within after narcissistic abuse. The narcissistic personality to understand why narcissists cannot give closure, it's helpful to first understand narcissistic personality disorder. Narcissism exists on a spectrum, but in general, narcissists have an inflated sense of self-importance, a need for excessive admiration, and a lack of empathy. Their emotional regulation depends on receiving external validation. They see themselves as superior, perfect, and entitled to special treatment. In relationships, they exploit and manipulate their partners for their own gain. Let's explore some common narcissistic behaviors. Love bombing excessive flattery and displays of affection early on to hook their partner. Gaslighting distorting the truth and denying reality to confuse and control their victim. Triangulation introducing another person into the dynamic to stoke jealousy and insecurity. Stonewalling refusing to communicate and withdrawing affection as punishment. Projection refusing to take accountability by shifting blame and accusing others. Devaluation making their partner feel worthless through criticism and comparison. Discarding suddenly ending the relationship without warning or explanation. This can leave the victim feeling emotionally brutalized, confused, depressed, worthless, and broken. When the relationship finally ends, it's normal to want closure and understanding. But the narcissist's personality is simply incapable of providing that in any genuine way. Why the narcissist won't provide closure? There are several psychological reasons why narcissists cannot give their partners closure. First and foremost is their lack of empathy. Narcissists see others as mere extensions of themselves, not as full individuals with feelings and needs. They cannot truly put themselves in another person's shoes. This makes them fundamentally unable to grasp the trauma they have inflicted, take accountability, or offer meaningful answers. Even if they mouth the words, I'm sorry, there is no emotion or compassion behind it. Narcissists also have a pathological need to protect their fragile egos. Taking accountability for the pain they caused would shatter the perfect self-image they rely on for regulation. So they reflexively deny, defend and rationalize their behavior, often by blaming the victim. The narcissist would literally rather distort reality than admit imperfection. Finally, Narcissists view relationships as zero-sum contests, not bonds of love and care. Providing closure would relinquish the power and control they sought from the relationship. They'd rather discard their partner abruptly than empathize. For these reasons, hoping a narcissist will provide validation, apologies, or explanations is a lost cause. The narcissist is simply incapable of genuine closure. The dangers of seeking closure, not only is closure from the narcissist unlikely, but attempting to get it can actually re-traumatize you and give the narcissist more power. Here are some of the potential dangers. Hoovering narcissists may pretend to care as a way to suck you back into the relationship and regain control. Rage if confronted with their behavior, they may explode with frightening anger and abuse. Gaslighting, they may deny reality, blame you, and manipulate the truth for them. Revenge hell bent on protecting their image. They may try to sabotage your reputation. Emotional toll, the interaction may reopen healing wounds and prolong grieving. Essentially, 
Narcissists do not take accountability or engage in good faith. They see closure conversations as opportunities for more manipulation and control. Attempting to get blood from a stone will only frustrate and harm you further. Healthier ways to find closure, though the narcissist cannot provide closure, you can find empowered closure within yourself. Here are some healthier strategies. Process your emotions, let yourself fully feel and release the anger, grief, and pain through writing, talking to others, crying, exercising, or counseling. Buttling up emotion prolongs recovery. Learn about narcissism. Reading about narcissistic abuse tactics can be extremely validating and help make sense of your experience. Knowledge is power. Establish boundaries, decide what behaviors you will and will not accept in your life going forward. Stick to those boundaries consistently. Practice self-compassion. The narcissist work to make you feel flawed and worthless. Be gentler with yourself as you heal from their lies. Release resentment for giving the narcissist for your own peace of mind that allows you to stop expecting accountability they cannot provide. Focus on the present, dwelling on the painful past, continue seeding your power. Pour your energy into the now. Fill your life with love, surround yourself with safe, caring people who appreciate you. Community combats the isolation of abuse. Be your own closure, tell yourself the story, voice your pain, declare your worth, and decide the narcissist will no longer affect you. Let go and move forward to allow yourself to open up to new beginnings. The narcissist does not deserve any more space in your life. Closure comes when you fully acknowledge the abuse, process the pain, and then shift your power and focus back onto yourself, your healing, your growth, your dreams. You cannot control a narcissist's behavior, only your response. You have the power to write the last chapter, let go and move forward on your terms. Signs you have reached closure, it takes time and work to heal from narcissistic abuse. Be patient and gentle with yourself. You'll know you've reached a place of closure when you start experiencing feelings like understanding feeling clarity about the dysfunctional dynamics and realizing the narcissist's issues are not your fault or responsibility. Liberation releasing resentment and no longer expecting accountability from the narcissist in order to feel peace. Empowerment establishing solid boundaries and trusting your ability to uphold them. Feeling confident in your work. Calm thinking about the narcissist stirs up less emotional intensity. You process the memories with more detached observation. Disinterest, no longer feeling a strong urge to seek out information about the narcissist or what they are doing less rumination about the past, hope opening up to new possibilities and optimism about the future, feeling excited for a life free of narcissistic abuse, forward motion, feeling motivated, creative, and actively engaged in pursuing goals and interests, less mental energy going to the narcissist, full healing takes time, but these shifts signify you are well on your way to closure on your own terms. Keep going. You've got this. Specific strategies for closure after narcissistic relationships. Ending a relationship with a narcissistic partner, family member, or friend can be devastating. Here are some specific tips tailored to common narcissistic relationship dynamics. Partners. Seek counseling. Join a support group or talk to those who've been through similar experiences. You are not alone. Make time for self-care, eat well, exercise, get massages, engage your senses, nurture your body as you process the trauma. Avoid numbing the pain with reckless behaviors like substance abuse, risky sex, or excessive spending. Feel the feelings and get support. Be extremely gentle with yourself if you go back multiple times. Narcissistic bonding is like addiction. What matters is that you got free. Let go of what the narcissist did or did not give you. Mourn the dream, not the narcissist. Move your energy to people who can love you, family members, 
except that narcissistic family will likely never provide closure. Work on releasing resentment and moving forward regardless. Set compassionate but very firm boundaries around how you will be treated. Limit contact if needed. Seek chosen family friends, partners, fellow survivors, etc. Build a circle of people who treat you with genuine care. If you have shared family or children, parallel parenting can help minimize conflict. Communicate logistics only through a third party. Don't internalize their words. The narcissist's opinion of you reflects their issues, not your worth. Friends, mourn the friendship you thought it was, not the reality of who they are. Let go of the fantasy. Take time away from shared spaces and mutual friends. Ask them not to share information about the narcissist friend. Be wary of letting narcissistic ex-friends back in. They often recycle former relationships. Reflect on any underlying patterns. Was your empathy taken advantage of? Learn to set healthier boundaries moving forward. Surround yourself with kind. Trust were the people who have shown they care consistently, not just when it suits them. Regardless of the specifics, the path to closure ultimately comes from within. Feel your feelings, get support, engage in self-care, set boundaries, release resentment, and pour your energy into the present moment. The narcissist may have taken away your power for a time, but you can absolutely reclaim it. Your future is bright. Conclusion, trying to get closure from a narcissist is generally an exercise in frustration. Their disordered personalities make them unable to empathize, take accountability, or engage in good faith. However, there are many empowering ways to find closure within yourself. Process emotions, gain understanding, establish boundaries, practice self-care, release anger, and focus on the present. The closure you seek understanding, resolution, liberation, and forward motion absolutely awaits you. You will heal and thrive. The narcissist's power over you will end. Keep going. You've got this.